Welcome to Tech Brothers Examiner. In this video, we are going to answer this question. You need to get a list of all the files from Azure Blob Storage Container or which activity you will use. Now, if we go to the Azure Data Factory and here in the pipeline, we will be using the Get Metadata Activity. So that's the activity we'll use to get the list of all files. So what you will do, you will go to the settings and here you will create a data set. As we need to get the list of the files from the blob container, we are going to select Azure Blob Storage. And here we will provide any, doesn't matter, CSV or binary and all that. We are not really going to use this. So we will adjust, our goal is the to create a data set that will be pointing to the container and then I'm going to select my Azure Blob storage linked service and then here I'm going to go to the container and the input container. Now I'm not selecting any file, there are two files here. So hit OK and I can give some name here, I can call it DS get metadata. Okay, so that's my data set name. So notice here I did not provide any file name and all that here. So we hit OK now. Now in the field list you're going to hit new and then in the argument we are going to select child items. That means they get the, all the list of the files and whatever the items are there in this container to us. Now let's debug and what you will see it is going to return us uh, those list of the files available in this uh, blob storage container so there are two files available as of now now let's go back here and uh, let's refresh it's uh, completed with success let's go to the output and here you can see that uh, those uh, list of those files and their name so here is the name of that file called names underscore new json and type is file and then we have this another file called input file dot text and this is also a file type this could be directory and all that that we would have got the list as well but we are getting everything from that container so to answer this question you will say you will go use the get metadata activity with the argument called child items and to give it further more, you can use the for each loop and loop through all these the list uh, or child items uh, and uh, then maybe load to different tables and whatever you need to do. I have uh, multiple scenarios uh, created uh, by using get metadata activities where I loaded all the files uh, from uh, uh, blob storage to the SQL uh, tables according to their name. Uh, I will put the link here and you will be able to watch and see the details. Uh, good luck with your interview. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.